Uh, hello, uh, it's really nice to have you in my studio. Um, so my latest body of work is called Falling Branches. It felt really natural to me to make this work. Um, it's involved a lot of processes um, that I've been really enjoying lately. So mould making, casting, assemblage, and especially being able to source my main materials, um, you know, and the pieces that I make the moulds from and cast, you know, from the bush, um, especially relevant considering that this is a lockdown special exhibition. Um, it's online only through N Smith Gallery, uh, opening on the 29th. On all of our walks around, I've collected lots of branches, everyone that stood out to me, you know, fallen branch on the ground, um, and fungi and leaves and little seed pods. They're all cast in bronze, so I made moulds of the original and then waxes from those and have them cast in bronze, and then I polished them up. I felt like I didn't realise it until I finished the work, but this was a really important body of work for me to make. I wanted to talk about the, the major bushfires that went through Australia, the 2019-2020 bushfires. Um, that was a really crazy time, um, late 2019, our son had just been born. Um, and he spent a really long time in NICU. Uh, he was born with problems with his heart and with his lungs. Um, so we brought home this child who had spent a month and a half getting strong enough to be able to breathe on his own. And then within days we had smoke rolling down the streets and, you know, we weren't able to keep it out of the house. I felt like I was just ripped in a thousand pieces but still functioning still getting on because what else can you do and always having grown up with this this kind of fear and dread of of what we're doing to the world and how how it's going to play out the bushfires just hit me really hard when i was just so emotionally i wouldn't say vulnerable but open just so open like like porous and it felt like you know this was it this was this is it like this is such a signal of everything coming to a head and you know i knew it wasn't the end of the world of course but um i really felt it and i felt like, you know, ecosystems collapsing and the limbs of great trees breaking and, you know, the billions of animals that were having these last choked breaths and I could feel it all and I was just there and I felt really helpless. It's just when things get left too far, you know, like the terrible land management practices we have here, you know, trying to force Western systems without you know, acknowledging, you know, First Nations sciences that have been around for millennia. Yeah, things become catastrophic and that's scary. But there's so many things that have contributed, you know, um, just like a collective complacency and disregard for the things around us. All this work's pretty different than my previous uh, style in that there's absolutely no animals represented in this work. Um, I have been thinking about it, I've only really made art based on animals for like the last eight years or so. And these are all war works um, and small pieces. For years I've just been making large pieces that are installation based, interactive, um, but this was a really 
nice journey to make these smaller intimate pieces. There's something really special about the, the burnt wood as well, and particularly eucalypts. I love eucalypts. Um, I always have. They feel special to me. Um, and, you know, thinking about fire and eucalypts, they're pretty entwined and symbiotic. <laughs> 